What's up, you guys? Nurse D. Porsche here. If you are new to this channel here, I discuss all things nursing, health, and finances. If you have not already, make sure that you subscribe to this channel for me and like this video. And I promise you guys, I will keep them coming. So let's get into it. Okay, in this video, we're going to get into how to make money as a CE provider. If you hadn't had the chance yet, I'm going to post the link in this video and I'm going to show you where you can find out how to become a nurse CE provider in just 10 days. That's right. It took me only 10 days to become a nurse CE provider through the Board of Nursing of Florida. So there is more than one way, but I discuss all of that in the video. So go and check it out. Um, if Even if you want to pause this video, go and check that one out and then come back to this one or vice versa. However you want to do it, we're going to get into it. All right. So number one, you can offer courses workshops and conferences even as a CE provider. So depending on which route you take to get um, your status as a CE provider, I went through the Florida Board of Nursing and so I stick to those guidelines with creating my courses. So I can create clinical courses as well as entrepreneurship courses and so I'm going to kind of do a variety of the two. Um, so I've taken courses with other CE providers um, from any range of $25 to $1,000. Um, so it really just depends on the information that you're putting out, how long the course is, and all of those things. And so one example I'm going to give is earlier, <clears throat> well, actually, this was actually late last year, I took a Botox training course. And so this was the certificate that was issued to me. <clears throat> I was awarded 8.5 credit hours from doing this training. I mean, and this particular course was $999, right? And this is just one aspect of the course. They have like um, filler class and, and all of these different things, right? And so each class was additional money. And I was the only one in that training that just did the Botox training. And so pretty much everybody else was doing like the plasma, um, training and other trainings and so that is more money and so that's just to give you an example of like the range that you can charge but pretty much once you are the CE provider you have to your span to teach any courses you want before you have to renew and you get to charge this is your company right so you set the prices on how much you feel comfortable with charging. And so that's the beauty of becoming a CE provider. It's so much, you have like a wide range and a lot of it is in your hands. And so you determine how much you make with this provider status. All right, and so number two, you can actually partner with a healthcare company or even a non-healthcare company to be their uh, trainer of choice is something that pretty much every facility needs, right? You need to do annual training. They have to do so many hours and all of that. And so you fill that gap and offer that. You can partner with them, like say a dialysis company, and you can offer different training on dialysis, right? Or um, a nursing home, and then you can go over the training on where you feel they need training or where the facility has determined the training is for that quarter or whatever. Even non-healthcare companies like different clubs and different things like that, that off also offer uh, training in certain areas like Stop the Bleeding or CPR, whatever the case may be, you can also do training in those areas and you are now an educator considered and so you stand out among other people. And so it is a good marketing for yourself. You can offer training in those areas as well. All right, and number three, you can also be a nurse CE consultant. And what this means is that you're able to offer CE hours to courses that's already created. So if someone, like say your nurse friend is a IV therapy, right? She offers IV, IV therapy and she created courses on how she went about creating that business. Now she wants to be able to issue CE hours on that course. You will become her CE consultant, meaning you would uh, take her course, evaluate it, make sure it meets the guidelines, and then issue all of the CE hours to the nurses um, completing this course, right? 
And in exchange, you, you can charge like a one-time fee or you can charge a fee for each person that's coming to get this training um, and need the CE hours. So it's just up to you. But this is another way that you can make money as a CE provider. And number four, you can use this business as a marketing tool for maybe another area within your business or for a bigger purpose. And what I mean by that is, uh, for example, the lady that I uh, talk about in my other video of how I was able to take her course and become a CE provider in 10 days, she talks a lot about how she used her um, CE provider status to build a $1 million hospice company. It's her number one marketing tool. And so it can be the same thing for you. I plan to use it as a marketing tool, as well as offer workshops and all of these things that I am telling you guys, I am going to actually do myself with my CE provider status. And so um, that is another way that you can use this to make profit as a CE provider. All right, so number five, is that you can actually create courses about whatever you want, clinical or entrepreneur or whatever, and you can sell your courses to a company that offers CE training for nurses. And an example will be Elite Learning. So I actually went to this website. I'm gonna put a video here of where you can see where you can actually go to the website and check it out yourself where they will, you know, basically tell you what they're looking for and all of that. And then they tell you how they will basically buy courses from you that you've created. And so you have to submit your resume, the course name, what the information goes over and all of that. And if they're interested in your course, they buy it from you. So this is another way to make money as a CE provider. And this was super interesting to me because I wasn't looking for that information, but I actually found it on their website. So this is just one company that offers CE uh, training that you can do this with. I'm sure there's many more, uh, but this is just one that I found. So this is the number fifth way, <laughs> the number five, or do you say fifth? This is the fifth way that I found that you can actually make money as a CE provider. I plan to offer my first workshop, um, hopefully by the end of this month. <clears throat> as you can tell by my voice, I am just now getting over a cold. And so I've been kind of sluggish with getting everything ready. But I plan to offer a course on how you can bridge from bedside nursing to remote since i was able to do that I'm, I'm just going to talk about my experience and what i feel that they're looking for and how to help you kind of revise your resume and all of those type of things it's not going to be a whole lot because like i said it's my first workshop so i'll actually get uh, be able to tell you guys how that works out for me and all of that when i finally get to it so i am also a nurse mentor i also um, offer books and I do other things. And so that is what's taking me so long to actually get to this. Plus, I'm a mom of three and a wife. And so I'm always busy. So it's just finding the time to do it. But I'm sure it's going to be um, awesome. I'm sure that it's going to help a lot of nurses that's interested in the information. I just got to get to it, right? And so do you. If you're watching this video, then you have a plan. You have a purpose. Uh, for becoming an educator and so I just encourage you to do it I mean I think that it's a very good business for us to be in because who else know more about what nurses need and what they want to see than a nurse right so I hope that this video encourages you to go ahead and go for it um, it's not a lot of money guys I, I think that the whole process may have cost me $1,200, $1,300. And so it's definitely worth it, right? I was a CPR instructor for 10 years. I plan on doing a course about that. But um, that process, that, that whole thing is like the same amount. And so I'm excited to see like the differences between the two, um, how this is gonna work out for me and all of that. I just gotta get it going. I have to get it going. <clears throat> and so if you guys found this video interesting, if you have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I promise you more videos like this is coming. Bye, nurse girlies. God loves you. <laughs>